hello everybody. Uh, bonjour à tous. So it's really a great pleasure uh, to start this uh, Anity Days. Uh, so it's a 2023 edition. Uh, it's a very important date because uh, um, it's it's really the the place where uh, we give a, an overview of uh, of the research we have been uh, doing in the in the last year. Uh, also interaction with our partners, and um, there are also very important uh, events that uh, that occurred very recently. Um, maybe some of you, I don't know, some of you. Uh, do not know uh, what Anity is, and uh, I will just, in, in a couple of slides, uh, explain a bit about our institute. So Anity is, uh, you, you know that uh, um, four years ago, uh, there was a, a call for a three AI institute. So it's an uh, interdisciplinary uh, institute on artificial intelligence, and uh, and, and, and Anity is the one in Toulouse. Uh, there is also one in Paris, uh, one in Grenoble, and one in Nice. And uh, I, I saw that uh, Isabel, uh, where is she? Uh, Isabel is here. Isabel Hill uh, is the um, director of, of, the, of the center in Paris. So thank you very much, uh, Isabel, for coming. So those are our, our institute, and, and this institute are, have been created uh, for four years with the idea of renewing them, and we are in, in this process. Um, so Anity is uh, very much concerned with uh, trustworthy AI, and trustworthy AI uh, concern all these attributes of trust that are listed here on the right of this slide, uh, and, and we want to contribute to uh, the development and the deployment of uh, trustworthy AI, and also uh, pave the, the ground uh, for creating regulation that align AI with uh, societal values. Uh, in Toulouse, we are very much concerned with uh, some applications. Uh, so here you see, of course, transportation, robotics, but we are also a very strong place for uh, Earth observation and for environmental sciences. So it's all, all these disciplines are, of course, in the scope of what we have been doing, and else, of course, and what we will be doing uh, in the future. Uh, of course, we would not be here if we uh, hadn't have uh, our fathers uh, uh, who created the institute. Uh, so one of uh, those uh, on the scientific side is uh, Nicolas Asher. Uh, so I, I recently uh, take over him, but he's really the, um, the brain uh, behind this institute. So for, for me, it's a uh, really an honor to have um, uh, this um, Anity Days uh, with him. Uh, and you, you know that he's chatting for year, for for, year, for hours, but still I will give him uh, the, uh, and I will give us uh, opportunity to hear him talking about uh, what is behind uh, Anity. Um, also, uh, where is uh, Nicolas? Nicolas Vialet. So Nicolas Vialet is our director of operation, and uh, he has really be a key person on the university side, together with Corinne, uh, to to keep our institute in a very good shape, with many uh, shareholders, many interactions. So it's very uh, difficult, difficult. Uh, Difficult task uh, every every day. Uh, it's an everyday task for us that uh, that is very tough. And um, and Nicola um, has decided to 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 go for an, another position in the in in the coming months. Uh, and um, and there is already someone who agreed, uh, a very experienced and skilled person, Romaric, who is also here. So Romaric, uh, Romaric Redon. So you, you, you know that uh, Nicolas uh, is from Airbus, uh, and, uh, and, and Romaric is also from Airbus. Uh, Romaric is in charge of the uh, artificial intelligence activities uh, at Airbus. So it, it's, uh, he has a, a very uh, broad view of what matters for AI concerning uh, critical systems, but he also uh, took this position to disseminate AI also in other area of applications. So uh, it's really a, 
a chance for us to have a, a professional at that level agreeing to, to, to work with us. So thank you very much, uh, Romaric. And uh, of course, Romaric started to work uh, together with, with, with Nicola because we are in this uh, transition uh, phase. Uh, and, but uh, we are really uh, eager to, 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 to work with, with Romaric in the future. So now uh, I, I, um, it's uh, uh, Nicolas' turn. I, I think he is uh, the best person probably to, to explain what is behind uh, uh, Aniti. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's really nice to have you here, uh, Nicolas. Thank you very much, uh, Serge, for allowing me to share the stage with you. Though I am now uh, retired, I uh, still hope to play an active role here. I want to just also think a little bit about where we've come uh, over the last uh, four years, really five years, because this started in 2018 uh, after uh, the President of the Republic uh, decided that we should have AI centers. Um, we were in a panic. Um, as usual, Toulouse was a um, battleground of special interests uh, with no center, um, as in Yeats's poem. But uh, actually, uh, the miracle occurred. We actually were able to put together a center uh, here, and that was Aniti. And since then, it's been followed with Tirifs and a much more structured university center. So on the, even just on the organizational level, I think you, know, you can all be proud that you built something communal to all of the Toulouse site. And uh, I think that's kind of special. Also, I want to say that you know, we also had some really, uh, uh, some roues dans les bâtons. Uh, no, some bâtons dans les roues, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's what happens with old age dyslexia, as we, I guess comes along with Alzheimer's. Interesting. Um, yeah, our bâton, one of the bâtons was COVID. You know, and uh, we had everything all set up and humming nicely, and then the door slammed shut, and we had to do everything virtually for two years. Uh, that was hard, but we, we pulled through, and, and uh, there was a lot of very interesting research that was done, I think. And uh, <clears throat> I have to hand it to Nicolas and Corinne also for uh, getting us through that, that difficult period. Well, so when our industrials saw their, uh, uh, their um, portfolios uh, plummet, especially in the aerospace industry, because as you know, there were no planes flying for a while. Um, or very few, and nobody was taking the plane. Well, they were in America, but America is a sort of special case, right? I mean, because the Republicans didn't believe in COVID anyway. And actually, they, a lot of Amer more Republicans have died since, um, because of that. Um, so sometimes not paying attention to science actually is, can kill. Um, OK, but that's just a side note. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> right, so you know our, our portfolios, our industrial partners' portfolios were plummeting. Uh, there wasn't any cash. You know, NET could have closed, but it didn't. And so, again, thanks to uh, Nicola and also me for running around <laughs> trying to make sure that we could keep the, the institute up and running. And then finally, just the last thing I want to talk about, which is much more important, of course, is how the intellectual uh, scene has changed. Go back to 2018. Okay, Vishwani had, and the other 27 authors of Attention is All You Need had published their paper, you know, and Transformers were out there. They looked kind of interesting, but they weren't doing very much. We had GPT-2, which in terms of a language model was pretty poor, you know. Um, it was lucky if it could get a grammatical sentence out. Um, we also thought, a lot of people thought that <clears throat> we don't need uh, symbolic methods anymore. Those days have passed because data-driven methods are going to do everything. Um, and we can certify them. Well, we have some negative results in NET showing that um, actually it's a lot harder to certify those methods than um, we thought. And Claire can say more about this than I can. I think Claire is somewhere in the audience. Yes, there she is. <clears throat> Um, and also, uh, so, so you know, our idea, even at the outset, was this idea that, well, we don't want to just entrust everything to inductive methods. There's a long history of inductive methods and their failures. 
Um, and it's wise to recall that, so it's probably more virtuous to explo exploit both symbolic or model-based uh, views of AI and data-driven AI. And that involved injecting knowledge into data-driven methods in various ways, en amont, at the beginning, by injecting more intelligent data, perhaps annotated data, <clears throat> in the middle, perhaps by, and you'll hear about that, I think, from the uh, physics uh, chairs, by uh, shifting loss functions, which we do now also in NLP. Um, and then finally, uh, en aval, right, that's downstream, right, when you have garde-fou on, um, on your ML model. And all those are ways of injecting knowledge into the system. We also need knowledge and symbolic methods, as we'll hear um, from Joao uh, and uh, Joao about, you know, to help us understand what these models are doing. And that's become more and more of a pressing problem. Why? Because um, about a year and a half ago, GPT 3.5 or ChatGPT came on the scene, and there was a revolution in terms of uh, linguistic capabilities. Uh, and well, many people believe that uh, general a AI intelligence is now at hand. Some of us are a little bit more skeptical, like Toma and me. Um, but it's very interesting to explore the limits of these models as well as what they can do well. And for that, we need to do even more work than we've done before. We really will need these multiple disciplines. For one, these models are huge. But mathematically, they're not that complicated. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of linear algebra. Um, and there are some mysteries. Um, how does this, these simple uh, you know, matrix multiplications, matrix manipulations, how does this produce the behavior over linguistic strings, which is quite astonishing? Um, and that's a puzzle that I think Aniti, in Aniti we need to solve if these machines are going to be part of acceptable AI or trustworthy AI, the IA de confiance that uh, is our trademark. So um, we'll need to use symbolic methods to study these, algebraic methods. There's something very interesting now called mechanistic interpretability. And I think Victor will talk a little bit about this, about reverse engineering various parts of these models, which we can do with uh, counterfactual interventions. Um, but that means that we're actually doing uh, various kinds of statistics, but you're also using automated reasoning, and we're using uh, quite a bit of mathematics to figure out what these models do, to figure out what they can do well, and what they can't do, and what we shouldn't even let them do, um, if we want to have a safe and trustworthy AI. So I think the, the future, um, and yes, we live also in a sort of dark time right now. Um, AI is also, uh, Jean-Francois over there, I'm looking at him. AI can be a force for good, but also a, very, a force for evil. And, um, you know, go look at the various news feeds about um, Israel and Hamas or Ukraine and Russia to see uh, bots at work and AI at work in often malevolent ways and ways that are difficult to detect. So we also need things like, to, un to understand these models, we also need to do things like understand the algorithms that are there and certify those algorithms. And that's something that Jean-Michel and, and Jérôme will talk about, I think. Okay, well, I really, I will end here and uh, say, yeah, the future is complex, but there's a lot to do, so I hope that in the next installment of Aniti, we will go even further, and I think you should all be proud of what you've accomplished together, and I salute you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nicolas. Um, so just now, uh, Aniti in, in FURES, uh, you see that there is really a, a number of our research labs that are involved in Aniti, um, also universities, and one of the um, main characteristics of our center, our institute, is also that there is a, a tight connection with industry. And this is very important because it really uh, matters, no, it, 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 it enforces not only collaboration uh, and, and transfer of technology 
from uh, from uh, research to industry, but there is also interesting ideas that come back from application to aggregate our research, and it's very an important feature of our ecosystem to be able to implement that. So uh, on the bottom of the slide, you have uh, the, the number of, of researchers that uh, were part of this adventure, um, researchers, postdocs, engineers. It's also very important. We have uh, a lot of persons uh, uh, from industry collaborating with us on research projects. And this make our, our research very, very special. Uh, reproduced um, a lot of papers in, in, in nice places and also uh, libraries, I will say a couple of words about it. So uh, concerning uh, transfer uh, to, to, to application, um, I, I just give here uh, an example. So, so one is um, so an application on visual-based landing and here uh, we, we produced a, a database and also uh, libraries uh, that uh, will be used uh, to meet standards that will be needed for the certification of this that will occur at a certain point in the future. But we are producing um, not only uh, a library uh, and, and, and data uh, for, for, for doing that, not only the data, but also tools to, 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 meet, uh, to meet the standards. Uh, we have also a, a, a strong connection with NXP and um, and in this connection in this collaboration uh, where uh, um, communication between different vehicles uh, is is considered because you know that it's really the way uh, the traffic on the on on road will happen in the future here we have a, a number of of patents uh, that have been obtained uh, in 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 this collaboration concerning concerning vitesco uh, here we, we we see a series of uh, of, uh, of tools that we developed and that are being implemented now in factories. So it's really a case where uh, we managed to go from, from research to the, to the other hand. Uh, and, and finally, we, we produce uh, libraries. So here it's the example of Jeff's AI. And, and, and this library has um, such a high quality that it is, uh, it is used uh, by the industrial shoulders that you see uh, on, on, on the top of, of the slide, and, and it got the recognition from CNRS, from Vitesco. Uh, <clears throat> you see here uh, an article from, from La Tribune highlighting this um, nice collaboration. So, Aniti, you know, uh, is described uh, currently in, in three integrative programs. Uh, certifiable uh, and where we study uh, properties of uh, of, uh, of uh, algorithms of method, especially targeting trust, collaborate co collaborative AI where uh, we have robotics, but not, not only, also uh, language and uh, anomaly detection and, and uh, acceptable AI where we 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 uh, we we try to understand uh, and to. Uh, foresee what will be the impact of uh, of AI system uh, in in our societies. So here it's a number of <coughs> of chairs involved uh, with many co collaborations between chairs from different uh, uh, integrative programs uh, here. Uh, in terms of international collaboration, we also did uh, quite well. Uh, there is one project which is very important for us, a uh, very structuring project, is a DEAL project with Canada. So DEAL is headed by uh, Gregory uh, in, in the room, and uh, it's, it's really, uh, uh, nationally speaking, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very important project. Uh, there was uh, this, uh, um, this uh, uh, important uh, signature of uh, the collaboration between France and Canada uh, that was much highlighted in, in the press uh, with <coughs> the presence of the government. <coughs> so it's, it's really an important project uh, targeting uh, explainable AI and that will uh, play an important role uh, in the, when we will uh, target trust in, in general in our system. But we have also many, many other collaborations uh, with Singapore uh, uh, in the framework of, uh, um, of collaboration with, uh, with, um, uh, with uh, CNRS and also with the main places where uh, artificial intelligence uh, uh, matters. And here you see 
the number of joint publications that we have researchers from everywhere in the world. So this gives really an idea of the international dimension that we have on Trust for C AI. And uh, we rely also on collaboration, on national collaboration, when it comes to reaching um, products that we can use in companies. And uh, so it's called high TRL, um, translates readiness level. And we have a, a partnership with uh, Confiance.ai um, to, to, that, that is helpful in this very uh, last stage when you want uh, this result to be used uh, in, in industry and collaboration with 3AI network in, in, in various um, domains, uh, including edu education. Uh, so now uh, I, I will not take m to talk much more about research uh, because it's really the, the purpose of, of those two days and I will let a uh, specialist talk about it. Um, you see here Mike Topley. So Mike is the uh, president of, uh, of uh, University of Toulouse. Uh, he, he had to travel uh, to, to Paris. It's, uh, it was a, an urgent uh, trip that he had to organize in, in Rush. So uh, he, he, he's not with us, but uh, what he told uh, and, and what I, I should convey here is that um, Tiris, uh, if you look at the research on the Toulouse area, Tiris is a very important research tool uh, addressing um, the, the, the impact of artificial intelligence uh, in, in society. And, and there is a nice connection between, between Aniti and the other big project of the place, which is called Tiris. And in Tiris, Tiris is, is, is structured along pillars um, that are uh, more sectorial pillars, and, and Aniti uh, play uh, an important transversal role um, irrigating AI, <coughs> AI applications and AI algorithms into these uh, sectors. Okay, so just before um, giving um, the floor to, to, to Jean-Michel, I would also like to thank um, the person who um, took uh, an important part in, in the organization of, uh, of this event. Um, so, uh, Emily is somewhere. Where is Emily? No, she's not there. Okay, she was there. So, you, you, you probably met her already. Um, Marjorie uh, is here. Uh, César, uh, I have not seen the, if he is, is not here, but he, he also played an important role here. And Louise, is here. Okay, so thank you very much um, to the four of you uh, because we, we were on our side uh, very busy and you really organized this uh, on your side and it's, a, uh, it's going to be a very nice event. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.